Oh, look at this. The smoke pharmacy. Let's see if they're gonna take these racks, man. Whoa. Hey, look, man, you willing to do like a quick interview for all this money right here? Let me get straight to the point. What do you think the purpose of life is? Just living in the moment, bruh. We're all here for a purpose, so it could be different for everybody, bruh. Mm -hmm. It kind of just depends. I feel like... Bro, but what if I told you that I, I actually got fulfilled with purpose and I had an encounter with the highest power? I encountered Jesus Christ, bro. You believe in Jesus? Oh, yeah, 100%. Bro. Belief is the only way. I believe there is a higher power, bro. Whether but you're not sure. Or not. Yeah, exactly. I'll figure it out. He'll show me. He will. That's perfect. So I want to pray for you that he'll show you. Because Jesus really did die on the cross, was buried, yeah, rose bro. on the third day. Because we all fell short. We've all sinned, bro. But we need, we need something to cancel out that debt so we can make it to heaven. Heaven is a real place. Hell is separation from God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Daniel, Lord, that you would do the same thing. Highest power, I pray that you reveal yourself to him. Bless him. Have angels surrounding him and ministering to him, Lord. Bring him to that state of brokenness like you did with me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, look at this. The smoke pharmacy. Let's see if they're gonna take these racks, man. Whoa. Hey, what's up, man? Man, why you look so familiar, bro? You look extremely familiar. That's probably what it is. This, this is the smoke pharmacy? Yeah. This is your shop? No, I wish, bro. <laughs> Word. And how long you been working here, bro? I've been working here about three, four months. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Hey, look, man, you willing to do like a quick interview for all this money right here? What's up? Let's get it. I know you're kind of busy, man, but... Oh, just um, a quick interview, man. What's what's your name, bro? Daniel, bro. Daniel. Where are you from? Orlando? Uh, Puerto Rico originally, but yeah, raised here in Orlando. What part of Puerto PR? Uh, Juan Adias. Juan Adias. I just got back from PR last week. Where? I'm Puerto Rican too, man. My family. I'm, I'm from Broward, though. Born and raised in Fort Lauderdale. Broward. I got a couple homies from that side. That's deep Miami, right? Yeah, 30 minutes from Miami, yeah. yeah. Yeah, bro, it is deep, but I, that's how I was born and raised, man, but I'm parents of Puerto, Puerto Rican. So, man, let me ask you this, just let me get straight to the point. What do you think the purpose of life is? Like, what are we doing here on this earth? Like, what's going on here? Just living in the moment, bro. We're all here for a purpose, so it could be different for everybody, bro, but mainly just do what you do best, bro. We all got a purpose. You make music, you do whatever you do, bro, just do it at the fullest type. And do you believe like like that will fulfill us? Does that are you are we already constantly evolving with new purpose? It could change, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what it starts off as, but as you keep going in what you're doing, it can change the purpose, like you said. Mm -hmm. It kind of just depends. I feel like some of these artists, like say a singer, an artist, a professional, whatever the case may be, maybe their original thought is music, but once they get up there, it changes from being music to wanting to help people. So it's like, because they realize when they get up there, it wasn't what they thought. Exactly, bro. Like like Kendrick, Schoolboy Q, right, exactly, J Rock, bro. TDE. I was actually just yesterday. I was looking. I, I forgot about him, bro. Like I was listening. To, I don't know if you know if you like if you know hip hop. Yeah. But Kendrick Lamar is like one of his first um, EPs, overly dedicated. Yeah. I was like, man, that used to be like, bro, back when I was younger. Thing with dudes like Absol. Yeah, Absol. I, I was actually looking at Absol's social media. I was like, bro, he changed, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. Like a lot. After what he been through, bro. What did he go through? So recently, he just been through something. He lost a couple of friends. Mac was one of the main ones. Mac Miller. He tried to commit suicide by jumping off a bridge, and he ended up breaking his leg, lost a couple of teeth. Absol? Oh, yeah, Absol. He ended up making a song called Do Better. If you haven't heard it, bro, go listen to it. Anybody who hasn't heard that shit, please go listen to it. So wait, he tried to jump off a bridge in L.A.? Yeah, tried to jump off a bridge in L.A. He ended up surviving. He was hospitalized for a couple of days, I think, or a month, something like that. But he came back, dropped a song called Do Better, and the whole song is talk about how even when we're down and about and like even when it feels like we about to give up, bro, just do better. Hey, shout out to Absol, man. That's not yeah. coincidence. Like, bro, I haven't looked up his Instagram or his it's in so long. I just felt led to this like Yeah, bro, hundred Bro, that's, that's that crazy. Energy, though, bro. That's that energy, it attracts, man. Hey, what happened to Schoolboy? School I look, bro. He don't post nothing. Nah, bro. He made a song called uh When You Gonna Drop That New and the whole song is literally talking about like been waiting on me to drop forever bro and i'm just doing me yeah like i'm just like, like living his own life flat, right because like when they were young and bro when they were young when they had when they were coming oh, up they were on fire like they were like yeah, and then all of a sudden they they made it that thing bro it's the hunger and once you get to the top you finish your plate bro what is there to eat hey that's good man you, know you need you need some more food exactly bro. bro that's how i was bro too i traveled the world man i was trapping i was making a lot of money you know I had all these women in the cars now bro, but i was like i was empty bro i was living out in san diego that's all it is, man. You can have everything and still feel like you got nothing, dog. I was always looking for something new. Mm -hmm. Bro, but what if I told you that I, I actually got fulfilled with purpose? Mm -hmm. Like, and I had an encounter with the highest power. 
I was actually deep in the voodoo in Santeria, bro. I was I was oh, in Haiti shit, doing yeah, voodoo, and I was yeah. shamanism, psychedelics, bro. I was like sh saging my like mm -hmm. altars, but I had a supernatural encounter with the highest power in my apartment, knocked me to the ground, filled me with light, and bro, cast the demons out of me. And I, I mean, I got I encountered Jesus Christ, bro. God bless, bro. God bless. You believe in Jesus? Oh yeah, hundred percent, bro. You believe is the only way. Mm. That's how I used to be. I used yeah, to be like, maybe, 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 you know, maybe. Me, you know, everybody goes through something different. Everybody believes in something. I believe there is a higher power, bro. Whether but you're not sure. Or not. Yeah, exactly. You're I'm agnostic. Sure. Exactly. That's how it was, bro. Right. Whether like, it's God or not, bro, I'll figure it out. He'll show me. Exactly. He will. He'll show me that's, for sure. That's perfect. So I want to pray for you that he'll show you. Yeah, bro. Because sure, that's what bro. I did. I was in Greece, bro, on the island of Crete. Yeah. And I was I was so like, all my friends were in the club. I was like, bro, this is the same repeated cycle. I thought be like living in a different country would make me feel like I was like I was fulfilled but I was like it's the same thing as Miami bro and I was sitting there I was like higher power show me and I heard a voice say I'm gonna show you now I was crying everything bro, yeah, bro. and then he took me through a process so I'm gonna pray that the highest power I know it's Jesus but I'm gonna say because I know what you believe right. I must ask the highest power to reveal himself to you and I believe bro he's, he's going to reveal to you because Jesus really did die on the cross was buried oh, yeah, rose on the third day because we all fell short we've all sinned bro but we need, we need something to cancel out that debt so we can make it to heaven. Heaven is a real place. Hell is separation from God. So you said Daniel, like, like the prophet Daniel, right? Yeah. All right, yes, I pray for you. Daniel. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Daniel, Lord, that you do the same thing. Highest power, I pray that you reveal yourself to him. Highest power, that you show him like you showed me, encounter him. This man has a good heart, Lord. He's very intellectual, very um, has wisdom, Lord. I pray that he uses this for, for his purpose, his true purpose, why you sent him here to earth from heaven. Bless him, have angels surrounding him and ministering to him, Lord. Bring him to that state of brokenness like you did with me that brought him to the light, Lord. We need it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you, my yeah, brother. I appreciate you, bro. I had nobody pray for me in a while, man. For real? That's real, bro. Yeah, I see, I see it in your eyes, bro. You're a warrior, man. Like, you have, like you, have the, you have a light on you, bro. Like, yeah, God is calling you. Man. How old are you? I'm 23. Okay, I'm 33. 33. So, so. 10 years, bro. But I, and I went through a lot, bro. Like, I can sit here and tell you, but I'm pretty sure you've heard the stories a lot because you're 23, but you have a lot of wisdom for 23. Man, yeah, this is just how life is now, bro. Shit just puts us in a predicament. Real unfortunate predicament, right? God's going to show up now because you, yeah, you actually received it and you came in agreement. And there's times even when, like, even before this, bro, like, I sat down and I've been like, man, like, just show me a sign, bro. And the sign always pops up, but it's those same signs people be ignoring. You get the sign and you're like, okay, but this ain't the, t this ain't the sign. This isn't how the sign would be. It's too subtle or, like, it's too aggressive. Too, 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 too aggressive, too subtle, too exactly. coincidental. Maybe this ain't it. Was that it? Maybe this, like, right. but, bro, like. The sign is a sign, bro. Take it. Take it. And, bro, when I, when I really started getting those signs, because there's going to be a point, and I believe it's about to stir up now. I don't know how to explain this, bro, but it gets to a point where it's like overwhelming. Like you're just oh, like, yeah. the too much synchronicities. Oh, yeah. And bro, I feel like God's going to do that now. And he's going to, because you, you asked, like you came in agreement with this prayer. Yeah. And I fully believe he's going to answer it because he loves you, the highest power. And bro, you're going to get brought to a point of just love. Bro, sure. it's the love that you're, like, we're all being spirit beings searching for to come, go back to our creator, which is love. Right. We're here to learn what evil is because in heaven there is no evil. Mm -hmm. So we have to come down here to experience what evil and love is on the earth with, like, with the corruption to be like, yo. So when we go back, we'd be like, okay, I understand and I appreciate this more. Like, because, bro, there's about to be an eternal realm. This is temporary, oh, yeah. dog. None of this matters. You know this. I know this. Yeah. Bro, we're going to die. And then we don't even know we're going to live to. Forever, you know what I'm saying? Like, that so could be tomorrow. That tomorrow, be dog. After, 80 years is quick. That's the average lifespan. But that's quick. I talked to 80-year-old heads. I, I talked to old heads, and they're just like, it's quicker than you think. And that's scary. Now, bro, 2015 was what? Almost 10 years ago. That's think crazy, that, bro. bro. And I, I remember when I was 20. Bro, 23 for me feels like yesterday, bro. It's weird, bro. Time just flies. Woo. We just got to buckle down, bro. Be, be real, bro. That's all we got to do. Facts. Be real. Be translucent. We don't got to put up masks for nobody. No no friend. That's all we got to do. Keep it 100. It's love, bro. Keep it 100. Because there's too many people that are like, like it's like accusing. I know this. Bro, I just, I realized, bro, it's love. It's all That's love. why I'm able to talk to, to witches, to warlocks, to Muslims, exactly, to Buddhists, like to, to, bro, like anybody because, bro, I was in all that. Exactly. I, and, it's not even about, it's about respect, bro. Having self-respect having respect for others having love for others bro being compassionate there ain't no reason to be cruel and evil and mean and just judgmental they ain't no and religious that, bro. yeah ain't no on the corner with a microphone screaming at people <laughs> exactly that's bro. that's like, not god force your religion on people all that that's shit, not god bro. Nah, bro that's not love 
That's just self-love, man. Love for yourself and love for others, bro. That's all we got to preach out here. And that's what more people need to be doing out here, bro. Because everybody out here just be in their own world. And don't be Selfish. about what's going on outside. Selfish, bro. Because, the, you know what it is? Pain. Rejection. 100%. When you go through all these things, you're like, bro, like, I don't care about it. Like, I just talked to a guy over there. Like, he owns a sneaker shop. Yeah. He was like, man, I gave everyone everything I ever had. And then, bro, he's like, and I just got backstabbed. So now I don't mess with nobody. I just do me. And I'm just like, you see, that's... That's the mentality, bro. And I've been through that too, bro. I've lost so many people, but it don't stop you, bro. From loving. You still got to show that compassion, bro. Mm -hmm. That's what makes you you. You can't change that, bro. Just because somebody hurts you, you can't be like, oh, now I'm going to be somebody else because they hurt me. Word. That shit ain't cool, bro. That ain't going to get you no And more. that's why you're pure hearted. And yeah, that's why the, the Bible says the pure hearted will see God. He is going to encounter you, bro. Like, I'm talking about the supernatural, like, Yo, like you know what I'm saying, yeah, and you're gonna lead in ministry, bro. God's gonna use you to lead. Mark my words, bro. You're going to be. You're gonna. You're not gonna be in a smoke shop, bro. This is temporary. Yeah, bro. To be honest, he's been giving me the sign already, but. But just it, hold it down till it's time. Yeah, a little nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just keep keep you keep you going. Keep you keep you afloat. Because a lot of people don't even do that. No, they just be they just be bumming it like and they and they don't. They, you gotta you gotta be somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like do something, bro. You can't just sit around and waste an energy. Come to you exactly. You gotta go out there and grab that. My brother. Around, brother, amen. My brother. My brother. Appreciate I appreciate you. the love, man. You already know it, bro. Whatever God, it takes. And you already know this is fake. Yeah, are you, are you, are you do something. Are you can post for me. Yeah, bro. I got you. That the, the glee. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> All right, my brother. Daniel. You know what's up? Dolor bro. And yeah, it, it, I'll see you soon. Richard Lorenzo Jr. on all social yes, media. Sir. All right, take it easy, man. As you guys can see, it's the love of God, man. The Bible says, love covers a multitude of sins. Love casts out fear. God is love. You can have everything. You can have everything in the world, bro. You can have prophecies and miracles and cast out demons and have all these revelations and mysteries. But if you have no love, it means nothing, bro. So my job is not here to come, to come and impose. You better believe and repent now. I told him about Jesus. I told him about my testimony, and I didn't know, and I did it in a way that he'll receive it. I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ differently. It's up to them to receive it or not. But I know one thing: if I if I love, he'll be more receptive to receive. Somebody cannot receive a seed. What's up, man? God bless you. You see, look, if you show love, man, look, you know how a seed can fall on good soil if you love them. Cause me just praying and saying highest power, and I said in the name of Jesus at the end. But me saying highest power encounter, bro, it just activated something. I, imagine if I went in there, ah, oh, nah, 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 bruh, nah, bruh, you cursing, nah, you in a smoke shop, nah, you religious, nah, 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 nah. You know what would have happened? He would have been like, bruh, I'm not going to listen to this dude. And I could have preached him a whole message. He would have been like, okay, I don't care because, bro, I didn't, they don't know, how, they don't care about how much you know till they know about how much you care, bro. I'm telling you, it's love, my brothers and sisters. Agape. Hey, what's going on, family? God bless you all. Make sure if you like this video, click that like button. Also, go comment down below what you liked about the video. Click the bell icon for more notifications and go share this video to all your friends and family. Also, there are many accounts impersonating me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I will never ask you for money through WhatsApp. So if you get someone impersonating me with a fake account, make sure to block it and report it. Also, if you'd like to partner with us, click the description down below below on the video and you'll see all the ways to partner. We appreciate all those who help us expand this vision to the nations, partnering with us in prayer and financially. We thank you so much. And also those who partner with us, liking the video, commenting down below, clicking that bell notification and sharing it to all your friends and family. We thank you. The gospel is being spread throughout the nations. People are getting saved, delivered and healed. The Lord Jesus Christ is being glorified. Thank you for all our partners in Jesus name.